Well, the latest example came on Friday in Alexandria. J.D. Vance made a pretty obvious point. He said the childless left, that's how he put it, lacks, quote, physical commitment to the future of this country. Quote, why is this just a normal fact of life for the leaders of our country to be people who don't have a personal and direct stake in it via their own offspring? That's what he asked, and they went completely bananas. So we thought it'd be interesting to talk to J.D. Vance about what he meant and what it's like to be attacked for saying things that are so obviously true. He joins us tonight. J.D. Vance, thanks so much for coming on. So um, what, tell us what, that was just a very short snippet of a much longer speech, a really interesting speech that people, I think, should read. But what were you saying? Thanks, Tucker. And by the way, if folks want to help us out, JDVance.com, every little bit helps if you can throw us a couple bucks. But look, what I was basically saying is that we're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. And so they want to make the rest of the country miserable, too. And it's just a basic fact. You look at Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children. And how does it make any sense that we've turned our country over to people who don't really have a direct stake in it? I just wanted to ask that question and propose that maybe if we want a healthy ruling class in this country, we should invest more, we should vote more, we should support more people who actually have kids, because those are the people who ultimately have a more direct stake in the future of this country.